Hi, I'm Lisa Armstrong and I'm the hair and makeup designer for Strictly Come Dancing. Today I'm really excited about recreating one of my favourite Halloween looks. It's Karen Clifton's Thriller Zombie from when she danced last year with Jeremy Vine. Okay, so Chloe's here to help me today. I mean, the hair has obviously already been prepped. Loads of pieces, crimp, high top, perfect for a Halloween look. So I'm gonna start off with the eyes, straight in there with the black liner and start creating that ghoulish look. And now I'm gonna use a black eyeshadow all the way up to the eyebrow. To make sure the line at the edge is really sharp, just gonna take the eyeliner brush and create the shape. And now we're gonna go underneath to join the look together. We've also added some sparkly glitter over the top so it just sort of shines and gives it that strictly sort of look. And now I'm applying the base, which is really pale, so it gives it that sort of deathly Halloween feel. Hmm. So this look is really easy to create at home because once you've got all your hair crimped and back combed, you've got a pale face, black eyes, you don't really need to go out and spend a fortune on a costume. You can just put on like a red dress and some heels and you're a zombie. I'm gonna use a reflex glitter and that's gonna go onto the base so she can literally shine around the dance floor. So the look still has to be pretty because we are strictly, but we have to obviously give a sort of scary background to it and then glitter it up and make it look glamorous. Okay, now we come to the gemming, which is obviously very strictly. So tweezers, eyelash glue, back of the hand, pop slightly in, pop on the face. Done, repeat. Cool, hey? Okay, so now we're gonna do the lips. So we're gonna paint them out with the white, with the eyeliner brush, and then this, this, joining that all up, and then we just create the lines going through. And then with the Q-tip and the white paint, then you can just go around and perfect them. Because it's Halloween, you don't have to be too precise here. You see how it's all just sort of dragging the white and the black through. So the last bit to this look is putting a nice black line around the lip. And there you go, a perfect Halloween look. Pop a red dress on and you're good to go.